Hey everyone, Jamie Lee here from Bird Tricks, coming at you with an awesome video about 10 practical ways to use target training. If you've never used target training before, you are missing out on the number one technique of permission-based training, aside from reading your bird's body language. So I promise this will help you in so many ways. Stay tuned. In no particular order, these are all the different ways that you can use target training to get your bird to do what you want it to do without force. Not using force is really important with our pet birds so that we can build trust and a really awesome relationship. Practical way number one is getting your bird to come off of your shoulder. This is a really common problem that so many people have and usually it's a fear response. So a bird is nervous or fearful of something and retreats to your shoulder or maybe it just wants to get under your hair if it's a little con your, maybe it wants to pick up that mole on your neck or your face that it doesn't think should be there. Maybe it wants to play with your glasses or maybe it's just using your shoulder to get to your head. Whatever the reason may be that your bird wants to be on your shoulder, this is a great technique to get your bird off of your shoulder without forcing or doing the limbo. It is called the limbo, right? Yeah, the limbo. <laughs> And just other different ways that we may be like shaking the bird off of us, having to have somebody else come get the bird. We might be launching the bird off of us. Whatever technique you're currently using, stop now and use this one instead. Speaking of our birds going up high to places that we don't necessarily want them to be, when your bird goes to the ceiling fan, a light fixture, or up high on the cabinets, instead of getting out those ladders and, or, I've seen it, people throwing stuff at their birds to scare them down. Instead of doing any of that crappy stuff that's only gonna damage your relationship long term, go ahead and just use target training. If your bird's fully capable of getting up there, it's fully capable of coming down. But the best way to do it is to just target your bird down from those spots. Number three is letting go of an inappropriate object. We all know it happens, we're wearing jewelry, we had something out that we shouldn't have and our bird found it before we could put it away. Getting those objects back from our birds can be really frustrating and detrimental if you just try to yank it out of their beak. They're just gonna hold on to it harder, maybe even break it. So it's much better to just offer a target and your bird will naturally drop that object and run over excitedly to target instead and then you can remove the object. Number four is flying to you or flying to your hand. This is a great technique to start flight training. A lot of people think that you just have to start with your hand, but actually some birds respond better when you use a target to flight train instead of just offering your hand, especially those birds that tend to be a little bit more hand shy than others. Another form of flight training is not necessarily to you or to your hand, especially if your bird is way too hand shy for that. You can teach your bird to fly around to different objects or rooms in the house, to tea stands, to cages, to cage tops, all those sorts of things. So teaching your bird to target train and flight train to a perch or a stand is an awesome way to utilize target training and get your bird some exercise. Number six might be the most used one, and that's to get your bird back in its cage. I know that this can be a fight for some people. They might have to bring out the towel or something else scary to scare their bird back towards its cage because they can't catch them to put them in. Target training is a great way to get your bird to willingly go back in its cage. So we talked about going back in the cage. What about coming out? Some birds are so comfortable in their cage that they don't wanna come out because that world is really scaring, scary and intimidating. Scaring, scaring is like scary and intimidating mixed together apparently. Anyways, getting your bird out of the cage is equally as effective when using target training. Target training is my number one go-to training technique for people that may be a little nervous around birds and don't necessarily want to have physical contact with them, but still want to interact positively. It's a completely hands-off approach where somebody can deliver a treat or get a bird to do something. Hello to my macaws in the background. <laughs> but they can interact with a bird positively without having that fear of getting bitten. So target training really creates that beautiful dynamic of socializing with a bird in a hands-off way. Coming in at number nine is exercising. So we've already talked about flight, but target training can also be used just to get your bird up and down a ladder or a boing or other source of enrichment or exercise method. I knew an Amazon that was severely obese that couldn't fly, but they didn't want to use that as an excuse not to get him exercise. So besides placing food and water on opposite sides of a giant aviary that he was in, they also built him a lot of steps and ladders and taught him to target to the top and the bottom as a full repetition and it did wonders for his health. 
And finally, number 10 of my practical uses for target training is toy training. I hear a lot from my clients that their birds do not play with toys. And once your bird has been target trained, you can use that concept for a lot of different things. So for example, I've taught my birds to target to a toy and then I've just exaggerated that behavior by really getting them to tear it apart and bite into it. So toy training is a great utilization for an extension of target training that goes along long way towards allowing your bird to not only discover toys, but eventually really enjoy them and play on their own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the 10 practical ways to use target training. If you want to learn more or get a how-to tutorial on target training, check out my target training mini course within my beginner course of my family-friendly parrot formula course on birdtricks.com. That was a lot of course. Of course. See you in the next video.